France is a wonderful country and they have a lot of uh, great companies, usually they're headed by people that are born in France. So how did a German uh, get to be the head of a French major company? You have to ask my board of directors. No. Um, essentially, I mean, we, we, uh, the board uh, ran a process. Um, they first looked at external candidates. They then looked at internal candidates. We, I think, if I remember correctly, were seven internal candidates. And then um, over time, the process took three years. Um, they eliminated, and we were just, at the end of the day, uh, two left, one French person and me. And then uh, uh, the board looked at essentially three criteria, uh, which was very much away from nationality. One was track record uh, within AXA. The other one was what is the value set of the person. And the third one, what is the capacity of the person to reinvent him or herself. So in many cases, the large French companies, the largest ones, are run by French people, typically men, who have gone to these so-called elite Paris schools. But you didn't go to one of those schools. So does that mean you're an outsider a bit in the French business establishment, or you've been able to work your way in? I've been able to work my way in, uh, but that uh, needed two things. One, uh, the curiosity of uh, the French CEOs um, in me, but also my uh, ability to then fully uh, dive into it. And so um, what I did, for example, um, with my rudimentary French uh, knowledge that I had from school and studying, I only spoke French the whole day to make sure that uh, this would work. And uh, I integrated myself um, wherever I could. This uh, point around the university is actually a very good one because uh, in France you compare the uh, very good schools with the less good schools. I was neutral because I came from a university that uh, nobody knew so I wasn't placeable in the hierarchy of universities.